it's, it's, it's interesting because the protest movements in some way have flipped. I mean, there was you know, racial, that's the sort of big protest movement and bonfire. Mm -hmm. And now, despite the crash in 87 and you know, this image of the avaricious capitalist, the Wall Street, Oliver Stone sort of nonsense, um, not a huge 1% Occupy Wall Street movement that's the racial end. Now you don't, as you point out, you don't, you're not going to have these kind of Sharpton type protests, but you do have protests against Wall Street now. What, what has changed? I mean, in your piece you talk about this being a, a kind of computers and you know, acres of them making decisions yeah. and stuff. Is that what it is? I mean, is that what is sort of terrifying about this? You can tip over the economy with the press of a button? Well, see, it needed... Uh, the whole 99-1 uh, protest needed the press to create a case, but this country has no class feelings. I mean, you can manufacture a class um, by saying these people have this amount of money and, and servants. Yeah. And you can call that an upper class, but people are not, cannot act as if they're part of a superior class in this country. Uh, I remember once being with my father, I was very small, I went to a f service station, uh, and he rather peremptorily told the mechanic he wanted this done, this, I wanted this done immediately. And, and the mechanic said, don't get your bowels in an uproar. And, uh, and my father actually laughed afterwards, and he said, you can't do that stuff anymore. Uh, and that's, that really is, you, know, you cannot pull rank. They won't, people won't take it. I know people who change their clothes when the workmen are coming over so mm. they won't be in a jacket and tie. <laughs> it's true. Um, and there really is no, there really is no class. And what is this thing we call the middle class now? That's everyone with a job. And when people, even in the days when they complained about the bourgeoisie and the middle class, uh, they never complained about the upper class. You know, why were they left out? You'd think they'd really be on their cases.